Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to install this. So, I am waiting on a Sandman suppressor, and so I currently have this dead air flash hider that I need to install on my 308. I always choose a flash hider when I can over a muzzle uh, brake because I've been to classes and I've stood next to you in the line when you have that muzzle brake and you're four people down and I feel like I'm in the middle of a nuclear blast getting the push on the side of my face. So flash hiders, especially if you're going to fight in teams, are much more polite to those that you are with. Uh, whereas muzzle brakes, you might feel nice and comfortable, but everybody else is paying for it. Use a flash hider, thank me later. So, what we're going to do here is we are going to uninstall the original muzzle device and then install this one. Uh, I have already verified that the weapon is unloaded. I've taken the upper off the AR-10 and then I have clamped it to a table. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this takes a three quarters wrench, so I'm going to crank this device off and then we'll install the new one. You're not going to need the washer on the new dead air device. Okay, everything looks pretty clean on this one, so I'm going to put some rock set on there and then I'm going to install the new one. Okay, so there you have it. There's my three prong flash hider on the AR-10. I will let it set for 24 hours and then that will be it. Couple of notes here. If you're like, hey Dylan, what was that fancy tool that you used to crank on your flash hider? This is the AAC flash hider tool. Uh, it just goes on a ratchet or a torque wrench if you really want to get the correct poundage for torquing on your muzzle device. Also, additionally, for me, I don't really care about timing flash hiders, so I just crank it onto where it goes and leave it. If that's your thing and you want the prongs to be going a certain direction, you can get some shims and knock yourself out. Since this uh, muzzle device did not come with shims, I didn't bother to source shims independently in order to make that happen. I'm just gonna crank it on and roll with it. That's how I do flash lighters. It's pretty down and dirty. Uh, you do flash hiders how you please. Let me know what I did wrong in the comments. Do brave deeds and endure.